Hello everyone, this is the second part of the Interactive Brokers platform tutorial. So if you didn't watch my first one, check out in the description and go watch it that first. So today in this tutorial I will show you how to configure your chart and uh, what indicators we have and how to add in it to chart and so on and also I will show you the news part how to activate it and what types of news we have so let's get started so you see that I have a big chart over here and uh, I am assuming that you know how to do it if you don't as I said it's in the description you can watch the first part so we click here in the settings so we have here toolbar crosshair margin area prior close chart trader and uh, the layout where you want your put to price axis and time axis and you want to see the last price be then ask price whatever you want you can do all the configuration here and let's see what we have important uh, for me is date time high lows close and a little more than 500 bars and yes show selected time and these are my settings try it out and let's check that if it fits you or not so let's talk about the indicator indicators that we have in the interactive brokers you come to edit and you click studies right so you can see that all indicators and the volume things moving averages pivots everything you can find here now let's try one thing let's remove those so let's say i would like to add simple moving average yes and you write here the period which means that the bars and if you say nine it will count this one two three four five you understand if you make this one day so it will be like one day two day three day four day it goes like that so let's make it 180 and uh, if you want you can change colors here and that's it you click apply and there is a bug in the interactive broker stat and uh, when you make some color interactive brokers go back and change the color again so you need to do it twice and it's interesting thing i know but they didn't fix that thing so let's add one more moving average and also this search thing is a little bit buggy so try search with the different names and uh, now this time let's add 50 days and let's make this green hit apply voila all the colors changed again let's make this green okay apply okay so <coughs> and let's make this a daily chart and you can see that this is a 50 day moving average and this is 180 day moving average and so let's quickly check out here and you can change time frame over here and if you can't find you can check the more column and there is also uh, let's say six month three hour candles and it will bring you up three months and three hour candles all oh, these features are nice and uh, you can also check out by yourself so let's go back to the 15 minute chart and if you would like to change the ticker you just come here let's say apple you click enter and as you can see there is a hotkey if you click shift enter it will automatically bring you the apple so this is also a nice feature that you can check it out and you see there is a volume bar over here if you don't want you can just hit and close it and let's see what we have 
and the other thing is you can draw lines so let's say if you just click the left button of your mouse and keep holding and if you pull it over it will draw a trend line if you didn't like just click ctrl s and it will delete it so also if you wonder that how much percentage it needs to go up to reach your price you just do it again hold the left click pull it up and you will see so command z it will go and let's say you did this and that so if you would like to delete all of them just come here you need to come over and remove selected line or you can just remove all the trend lines so it's a nice thing and what else i can show you is let's go back to the studies again and we have trend studies let's check out those things we have adx oscillators dmi price volume trend volatility shops weighted close and we have uh, the most favorite ones is moving weighted average price let's add and yes this is the view up line in interactive brokers it's a little bit different than trading view what we get used to it but once you you know uh, play with it you will get used to it uh, just play with that let's okay let's make a daily chart and view up goes away in the five minutes yes now it's more obvious the view up line this is our view up line and let's check out what else we have and we have here uh, volume studies yes we check those out and we have some license stuff here simpler options from john carter if you would like to check those out you can also check it out and that's it for the indicators so you can easily come and search here i'm not uh, so much a technical guy but you know there is a rsi and relative momentum index you can check those out we have macd and uh, all those stuff is available in the interactive brokers yes and the final thing is saving our charts actually interactive brokers is saving all your layout the in their cloud if you just press this button and wait until it finish it will automatically save all the settings but if you would like to save this chart you can come and click the save chart template and it will save it for you and if you would like to load it you will come here open chart template that's it thank you for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe thank you and see you soon